It's a marathon day. It is a marathon. It's a never fucking give up day. Who you a fool for this? Who you a fool for this? I walk like I talk like I act like I look like I think like my shit don't stink. I fuck like I suck like I ride like I taste like I look like my shit don't stink. I walk like I talk like I act. Like We're going to Europe, y'all. You guys see this? I'm early. I'm actually going to Uber to the airport early. I'm going to be there two hours in advance because it is an international flight. And I'm very proud of myself because I left a little bit of room, a little bit. So that if I do some shopping there, but this is gonna be like maybe like 37 pounds. Honestly, it's probably 40, I'm gonna be honest. But we are going to Midway right now, and I'll talk to you guys when I'm there. But we are going to Dublin with Peyton for a couple days, and then we're gonna be at the Arnold UK with Dark Sport. What the fuck? Yeah, your girl, they're flying your girl. It's giving tart trip once again. They're flying your girl out to London. Eh, eh, eh. Um, I'm gonna bring you guys on the entire trip. I'm gone for like almost three weeks. I'm extending it, of course. I'm gonna go to Amsterdam and Portugal by myself. Spoiler alert, she does not go. She does not, no. Um, so yeah, welcome to Kenzie's European tour. Maybe we should do a little bit of a fit check. Dark Sport Kara T, this hoodie I just got today from H&M. These are some airy little flare leggings. And then this big Sherpa little trench is from Good American. Um, I don't know. I know it's going to be cold there, but I want to use this as like a blanket on the plane. But we're going to go call my Uber right now, and I will talk to you guys at the airport. We're going to go to Atlanta first, and then in Atlanta we're meeting pay 10, and then we sit next to each other on our flight to Dublin. And then we will be in Dublin in the morning. So, I don't know. Welcome to the European tour. I'm, I'm prepared. I'm going to be an influencer-ass bitch on this trip, okay? I'm telling you right now. Y'all know how I feel about the mini camera. She's saving my life! All right, y'all. We made it to Midway, and guess what? Both my checked bags, one was 40 pounds, one was 42. I thought the new suitcase I got yesterday, one of them was a new suitcase I got. It happened to be on sale at um, TJ Maxx, but it was a cow pack, you know, the brand. Um, and it was like light. I just need the biggest, lightest suitcase I had, but I was afraid I was going to be able to go shopping when I was in Amsterdam. And now we have all the time in the world. So I'm now probably going to get a coffee because my flight does not leave for like another two hours. Just kidding. More like an hour and a half. But I've not been this early. This is crazy. This is how people feel all the time when they show up two hours before their flight. It's actually insane. Okay, y'all, we found a place. It's like a little sushi bar. I got, I thought there was any rice in this, but it's like a pokey, it's like a pokey salad. I don't know if you guys can see this, but there's ahi tuna, avocado in here, sausage, onion, lettuce, cucumber. I don't know, my eating schedule is kind of weird. I don't know if you guys are going to ask about what I'm eating on this trip. This is not a macro tracking thing. Tracking is basically just like, I need a big effort on food because my food's pretty high right now and basically just don't want to eat. Like, I'd rather you overeat, just don't get fat, essentially. Um, so, yeah. But I do, this flight is, like, from, to, to Dublin, it's, like, from, like, 8.30 until, like, 9 a.m. And I don't want to be, like, eating in between those hours, so it's, like, that's when I'm sleeping normally. So, I don't know, I'm trying to figure out. At least I'm trying to eat a bit less than I normally would do it today, because I don't want to eat on the plane. But, oh, and I got a diet coat, obviously, because what else would I do? But yeah, right now it is... 3.35, my flight boards at like 4 40 something. So we have another hour or so before actually anywhere. Yeah. I don't know what this is, but it's really good. How are we doing, Peyton? Just need to go. Can you say we made it to Ireland or something? We made it, y'all. Six and a half hours. Honestly, that was a much easier flight than I was anticipating. I did take that one and then knocked out. How was your flight experience? It was good. I didn't watch a lot of movie, which is crazy for me. No, she's a big movie. Like when we're in like the front row where it's like the screens are in front of you, so I pull them out. She's like, where are the screens? Yeah. So she's like, we paid this money for just extra foot room and a beverage. <laughs> but we're gonna go through customs, get our things. I'll talk to you guys more later. Vlogging in public is kind of wild, especially on, even on the mini camera. We made, we made it. Our Uber driver goes, do you have bodies in here? <laughs> this is like 67 pounds. Slay. Okay, so we initially went to the wrong hotel because we are, I'll tell you guys, because by the time this is up, like we're leaving. We went to Temple Bar Inn. We're staying at Temple Bar Hotel. But whatever, we just dropped across the, the street. 
yeah, we dropped off our luggage, and he goes, do you want a lollipop or ice cream to start off your Monday? And it's like, like 10 a.m. No. <laughs> so we got a little ice cream. They remind me of what's from school. I'm actually excited. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. So we're going to go and... They actually made us get the ice cream. No, that wasn't an option for us. I think we're going to go and maybe try to find some coffee, some breakfast. Yeah, I'm starting um, in the bathroom. In the bathroom, yes. I bet we could have... No, I feel like they don't have those here. We, let's let's find somewhere to like get food. Yeah. We can do that, but it's so pretty. Like, come on. No, right? Uh, I love it. It's so cute. It's so. I actually have a client that's here right now for her birthday, so she gave me some like things to do. I think we're gonna extend it one more day because even with so after this, we're going to Birmingham. I don't think I even told you all this. I'm going with Dark Sport. That's the main reason why we're in Europe. Um, but they're all getting there on Wednesday, but it's going to take them like 24 hours to get there. So we don't have to really do anything until Thursday. And I'm like, I don't want to be in Birmingham for another day. I'd rather be here for no, another. Yeah. So we're going to look at new flights. Maybe stay here another night, but what? This is a cafe. It's so cute. And the, honestly, I'm really not mad at the weather. No, it's fine. Like, it feels I'm good. Like, Everyone was like, it's so pressure. cold. I'm like, y'all know that she lives in Idaho and I live in Chicago. Like, I don't know, it's nice. We can ask, but I'm pretty sure the hotel used to be above this bar. Oh. Just like walking around with the ice cream. <laughs> Loki, I want to buy the ice cream. Okay, wait. We should have the ice cream on the bridge. We take a video. <laughs> this is, ooh, yum. Actually, this is me fire. This reminds me of elementary school. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. <laughs> the camps. Ready? Oh, this is a good texture. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, good. It's like frozen whipped cream. Yeah, no, this is very good. Mm -hmm. We're in Ireland, bitches. That's so good. Us every morning. Can we have one of those? No. <laughs> okay, y'all, we're at boxy Gallagher's box tea for brunch we got coffee I don't know, some brown sugar with it some crema and then I got the Irish breakfast and Peyton got something else but you'll see it when we get it okay y'all I got the Irish breakfast I think that's like a pancake bread eggs tomato I'm gonna be honest mushrooms and I don't know what that is I think it's a black and white pudding situation sausage bacon and then, I don't know what Peyton got, so like a sandwich. Thank you. No worries. Um, thank you. Obviously, we got ketchup. Slay. Oh, I think it may be sprinkling, possibly. We just left brunch. It's like quarter to noon. We're going to go <laughs> to Urban like Outfitters. The of the night. No, literally. We're, today is, it's like. It's a marathon day. It is a marathon. It's, it's a never, never fucking give, give up day. day. <laughs> well, okay, we go to bed at like 8, but like we have to stay up today so that we're not fucked. Shocker, they were fucked regardless. Um, yeah. yeah, so we're gonna go to Urban, see what else we can find. I do wanna get some Euros. Yeah, how do you feel about we do that? And then we'll check into the hotel, phone time. Then yeah. it was like, refresh or come back out in the evening. Yes, I'm, I'm here for that, you can do that. Phone time is a big necessity in our friendship. <laughs> we need it. Um, also, the whole girls' trips, women can't travel together, they never come back friends. Maybe it's because y'all, number one, you don't discuss money. Number two... Yeah, you guys like nickel and dime each other. That part, you nickel and dime each other, which, whatever, if that's what you do, just know that before you travel with people. Number two, you don't have phone time. There's no designated <laughs> phone time, okay? There's, like, we need to have at least an hour where we are not, we'll, like, speak, like, oh, like, it's well, look at this. Like, yeah, look at this. Oh, do you see that this person posted this? Like, that type of thing. We're not having deep conversations. Yeah, it's very during much phone chill <laughs> during <laughs> phone time. Phone time is very necessary. No, she loves Urban Outfitters. And I do need a top for... We are open. Push door to open. So... Here we go. Yum. I should start being more grateful. Look at this. <laughs> look at that. This is true. Not Look really. I'm like, okay, we went to Urban. Now we're at this little trinket shop, if you will. They do love a Taylor Swift moment here. I'll tell you that right now. Live, laugh, love her. Yeah. 
So we're sitting here, right? I just need to sit. We're in mm -hmm. like a window outside of an ancient um, where we did just go. And we're people watching a bunch of high schoolers. I think they all look so fucking cool. It's actually disturbing. Their outfits are just crazy. It's just like, whatever. But we're sitting here and then Peyton's like looking what's near us. She's like, I think this is like a famous church in front of us. No, literally I have like maps pulled up on like, dude, this is like one of the most famous churches. And we're just sitting here like, oh, they look so cool. <laughs> As we're sitting in front of this, oh, as we're sitting in front of this baby. No, but like, okay, okay, okay. Not to be weird out, but like, look at those girls over there. Like, they're not even trying. Which they're ones? Like, so cool. All of them. Everyone. No, literally. But like, the girl in the green jacket. Like, they just look cool. I'm not even seeing the green jacket, girly. There she is. Oh. The baggy jeans. Yes. Like, nothing matches, but somehow it looks so good. That part. Actually, somebody came for me on when we were in Miami, and they're like, you, it looks like you just put everything together and like you got dressed with your eyes closed. My Lakers in the that camo. matched. I was like, that was the point. That, that fully matched in my head. I think it did in my head as well, so. That was the best day ever also. So much fun. I was I talking about Miami again. That, that <laughs> we're in the well, island. Okay, wish our like, friends were here with us. <laughs> they never hit us up. Did what? they ever like DM you or anything? Did we tell them to? No, but like it was like kind of like goodbye forever. I don't think so. Okay, you have like something in your eye. Wait. <laughs> I don't know if they like, I don't know if that's like, I feel like we know just, to do that. Okay. I don't know if that's like a normal thing for people to do. Oh, okay. Because they weren't like giving like we do Instagram. You like they hate us. They <laughs> Did I get it? Yeah, it was like you had like a string like here what's going on. Okay. So like when you rubbed your eyes went, went away. I'll stand. Literally just <laughs> It's you like <laughs> like so much to Me look. try not to make it look like I'm staring at children right now. You know what they don't have though here that we what? have? Eyelash extensions. They don't have them. Look what? at them. They don't do those. That's true. Honestly, that's the dead giveaway. My new wine everywhere is, because well, they'll be like, where are you from? I'm like, oh, from the States, can't you tell? Like, literally, yeah. I'm like, it's so obvious. Pe people don't do that here? Like, there's no lash checks? <laughs> like, or is it just because they're, like, high schoolers and they probably, like, no, don't no, get their lashes like, done? I think they probably have them, but it's, like, not as, like, popular. Question to anyone that lives in Ireland, if you're watching this. Can you give us an update on lash culture? You guys think they're ugly, which it's fine. I know a lot it's of people okay. don't like them, but I, I want a full lash. Our faces give um, American because they're just like, like we just, I don't know. We just Do you know what I weirdly get a lot? People ask if I'm like Russian. It's, I think it's just like my facial features and like how like, I just have very strong features, yeah. just like bone structure wise. Yeah. And like I just have a big, Think about my face is big. Yeah. But I get that often. It's either Russian or is it Ukrainian? No, I think it's Russian. Russian makes more sense. But yeah, I get I get that often. I do think I give typical US white bitch though. Yeah. I do think I give that energy for mm -hmm. sure. That's okay. No, literally. It's true. No, I think you guys missed it. And our, our cab driver on the way here, um, he was <laughs> he said something about traveling light and he's like, Do you have bodies in here? <laughs> no, he was yeah. I he was actually shocked. felt bad. Him like getting them. I'm like, we're, we can get them out of it. That's like, it's fine. Me. He's like, the fuck? But I only brought three suitcases with him. And one of them's little. One of them's a carry on. No, you did good for how much you like. For me, you're typically. you longer than me, too. I'm here for almost three weeks. So. Okay. okay. So you can't tell we're really down bad right now. I'm so tired. Not, we're just, we like, have to stay up. We have to stay up. On fucking day. It's never fucking give up day. Yeah. We have to get to our hotel. Yeah. Yeah, that's why we're sitting here, by the way, because we're waiting for our room to be ready. Another thing, Air Forces are very much still a thing here, like white Air Forces. I've noticed that yeah. as well. Right, with the children in particular. It's Peyton's birthday! Oh. Um, we Hi. we didn't really vlog yesterday because we were dying. Jet lag is so real. It's real. We're not exempt we're from victims. it. We're victims. Yeah, we are jet lag victims. We were dead. Um, we're going to get some breakfast now. A little birthday breakfast. And then we're going to go to the Guinness 
factory brewery mm -hmm. is. So. And our hair looks like this because <laughs> I come out of the shower and Katie's like, it's, it's like clearly smoky. <laughs> and it smells like literally something was burning down. And she's like, yeah, my hair dryer doesn't work. <laughs> my little baby hair's up here. So, give me more baby. Um, yeah. Natural gals. Anyways, we're gonna go to breakfast now. Okay, so we're at the breakfast spot in our hotel. They have like a whole buffet thing. I got like yogurt, a little croissant, cheese. Oh, thank you. Thank you. And we got some almond milk lattes. Those look so good. I'm very excited. That's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Right here. And then this is the veggie Irish breakfast, hash browns, mushrooms, egg. No, like we're actually in our skinny era, in our bird eating era. Bella Hadid who? Yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all, little OOTD for Peyton's birthday. We're gonna go to the Guinness Brewery. Amazon necklace that you see all the time. These little fake Bottega dupes are from TJ Maxx. These are from Kittenish. They don't sell them anymore, sorry. Uh, this black little crop long sleeve is from Pink, like Victoria's Secret Pink. These are a little baggy on me right now, but they are the Abercrombie, like, curve love, straight leg. And then I got this from Primark, Primark, how the fuck you say that? I'm going to wear this little jacket, so thank you. And then my little black and white New Balance 960, 9060s. I'm going to do a light stuff. Okay, birthday girl. Cute. Okay, my outfit's getting boring, but I'm wearing some, like, baggy straight leg fit jeans. This shirt is, like, from Hollister, and it's, like, it's giving skims, honestly. Um, I bought these sunglasses a long time ago. Troy Birch. Troy Birch, yeah. And then I'm wearing Nikes. And I got this jacket on Amazon. I'm organized with this. And our hair is giving natural because we couldn't do it. No, literally, due to so the blow dryer situation. But I'll bring you guys with me. I kind of want to bring my little tripod little stand with me too. So, oh, I should bring my. I'm gonna bring my mic too in case it's loud somewhere. So we're gonna be prepared, okay? But we'll see you guys when we go where the fuck we go to next. Okay, we made it to the Guinness Little Brewery situation. Got some photos. Our Uber had many uh, suggestions for us, so <laughs> he did. He did. He's but he had told us about that. I want to go to that like oldest pub. Oh yeah, that's um, that's what we took away from that. Yeah, and we also took away that oh. we are gonna stay another day. Honestly. Yeah, we just need to figure out our oh, shit. when we get when we. We flip and shit around. Here we are at the Guinness factory. The journey begins here. And there's Miss Kenzie. See She's a sweater. See the sweater? We're like, oh. I'm wearing the same one. Wait, I feel like, let me get the microphone on. Yeah. One second. Have the microphone on. <laughs> Speaking to Miss Microphone. Here we are. Testing. Testing one, two. <laughs> Big beer girlies. Yeah. <laughs> this is so pick me of us. No, it's literally. So pick me. The introduction. Yeah. Okay, moving on now. Like we're farmers, kind of. It smells like rain too. Here we go. We just want the beer. We're hoping it's up here. No, literally, we're hoping the beer is up here. Big museum gals, if you can't tell. We've been here a full 10 minutes and we've already like gone through half of it. No, literally, we're like, okay, that was nice. Oh, tasting rooms. Tasting this rooms that shit. way. This is our shit. Let's go. <laughs> we continue to oh, tour this to way, it says. The tour and then do the okay, tasting. and then we can do the tasting, I, okay. I guess. We're like running. There's no, literally, we hop the fence. Like. <laughs> Story time is Peyton got us green ones and then forgot them in Idaho. In and we saw these, and obviously we we needed them. It, like the whole the whole day is just us. Got, like imagine us in a pub after this. Literally, like, right? Sweaters. Like I can't imagine not being a touristy ass bitch. Yeah, no. I have no intent because it's like what you hear me speak, and it's like, oh yeah, she for yeah. sure lives here. Can and we, we have to match. It's cute. I mean, like, oh, that's crazy. It's like ironically funny. Yeah, exactly. To me. Look at it. Hey, matching colors, matching. Thank, Thank you. See? We're like, Did you see that guy? Do you guys see that? We got that on camera. Somebody mm -hmm. else liked it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And our like. We're actually wearing the same outfit. Because like our jeans are like same. Outfit. We're wearing like baggy jeans, these sweaters, and sneakers. 
Hair. Natural hair. We're getting natural. No, actually, me has a full face on. Just no eyeshadow, so it's not a full face. <laughs> No, this is giving kind of like, ooh, it is a tasting room. Oh my god, it's a real tasting room. Me shocked. No, it's called I a tasting room. Were, I thought that they were gonna like, scam us, literally. Okay. Okay. <gasps> it's like little shots. You're very welcome to the white room. Feel free to come grab one of the samples, check out all different Roman pods that have all our sense of flavors. Cheers to the Guinness. And when you're ready, you can head through the next part of the to check out some Guinness from Thank you. It tastes like beer. It's not giving chocolate. I'm not mad at it, though. Mm. It's nice and cold. I kind of also expected coffee for some reason. Yeah, it does not taste like coffee or chocolate. But I do like the food. Hey guys, just so you know, this is not taste like coffee or chocolate. Not the stouty, this is us. <laughs> this is our stop. We've been waiting. <laughs> oh yeah, this is what we got our selfie on it. I can't wait, really, honestly. I'm super excited. Um, so they put our faces in the foam of the beer. So yeah. we're very excited. Oh. Then so you push 55. Yeah. Push your photo. Pencil. Maybe. Maybe, I don't know. I don't really know if you guys can even see what's happening, but... Yeah, you can't really see it. So cute, though. I'm gonna okay. take it out. Sorry, me. Look at us. It's so cute. That's so adorable. Okay, so we went to the brewery. We finished. We didn't even have our full pints. But now we're taking a horse-drawn carriage to the... <laughs> to the it's, but it's like the oldest one? Is it the world's oldest? In Ireland. In Ireland? It might be the world's. It opened Could in like... The a le in, what do you say? Like 1100? 1196. So yeah, they're just stopping, they're just stopping at an ATM for us. Birthday behavior. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Best day of my life. <laughs> this is so exciting. I can't. He's slaying, honestly. Us just in the street right now is absolutely stunning me. This is crazy. Hey, cars. Uh, like, like. No. <laughs> just try to get you. Literally. We're now taking a pit stop at the ATM machine. Uber took a little break for us, if you will. Romantic birthday lunch. We got fish and chips. We are at Brazen Head, which is Ireland's oldest pub. Opening like 1100 or something like that. So, about here? Yeah. Okay, Kenzie, what are we doing? We're getting slay tattoos. <laughs> We thought about this for at least three minutes. Not even. <laughs> like 30 seconds. Like, wait, like, maybe we should figure out what we want to get first. <laughs> okay, let's see her. So Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> Peyton's first tattoo. Mm -hmm. It's not bad. No. People make it seem like, I don't know, given it's like, this is like a word, it's not like you don't have like shading or anything, like it's, yeah. you know, but it's not, like I was so scared when I got my first tattoo when I was 18. <laughs> Everyone was like, oh, this is going to hurt so bad. I was like, it's fine. Living our tourist dreams, post tattoo. Actually, this is so cute. That girl with her glass of wine just outside of there is such a slut. Okay, y'all, kind of a bad vlogger today. <laughs> we did get tattoos. You saw that. We came back here, rotted. I took I don't a nap. I think they saw them. Did they see them? Oh, did they? Let me turn them around. Boom. Please focus. There it you? is. There. It says slay. I have the same one on my arm, but it's the other arm so that we can hold hands as a slay. Um, I'll show you the outfit. We I took a nap. It was kind of rotted, and now we're going to go and get... We're going to go to the pub. We're going out. 
We're going out. The girls are going out on a Tuesday for Miss Payton's birthday. So I'm wearing the same Abercrombie jeans I was wearing earlier, but I got this belt from Bing because I was bigger on my waist. New Balances, that pink long sleeve Amazon. And then this is a dark sport men's coat. It's very cute. I'll show you. It's like a little velour, like corduroy type situation where it's like a bomber. Just, thank you. Just put my hair up and then did the same little earrings from earlier and I'm gonna bring my YSL. So, pay I'm 10. I'm wearing the same thing where I changed my jacket. Literally. To a dark sport bomber. Slay. So, I will bring Miss Camera out with us. Let me see how much battery I have, but I will bring her out. So, you guys will see the girlies when you see us. But also, I have to point out this is the first time we've left the place. When it's dark out. Yeah. So, we're like, oh, it's so lively. It's so crazy. People are in bars, dancing. It's crazy out here, okay. Yeah, there's drink and Guinnesses, like it's nothing. I feel like we're vibed and I haven't even had a drink yet. We're no, good. same. We're that... gonna be good. This is our night. It is our night. It's your birthday, it has to be. Yes. You're grown and sexy now. It's true. No, I, I my nap really saved me, to be honest. I'm so excited. I am too. Oh. Oh, it gets crazy there. <laughs> this is Sorry. supposed to be mariachi night. And it's 8.10. Let's go. Should I stay or should I go? Should I stay or should I go now? Should I stay or should I go now? Hot as a fever. It's like rattle the bones. I think you just taste it. Taste it. Little snacky, you see it? It smells so good. Yeah, I'm excited. It's an afternoon flag. She said it's sweet. <laughs> this is an Irish flag. We're taking it. Mm. Yeah, I know. Okay. Oh my god, oh my god, I can't do it. Why did you make a face? <laughs> Take it. Honestly, I'll run this time. How bad is it? Okay, the aftertaste makes it better. Is it, is it minty? Taste it. Take it. Take it. <laughs> is that what the sweet is here? Okay, that was a shot. That was alcohol. You've done mine. You have alcohol in your system now. That was tasted like. You know what this tastes like? I gave, um, that was awesome. that, um, rum with works. Some sort of head. Oh my god, consider yourself blessed. That was awesome. Yeah, I'm never taking a rum with me. I do this. I am feeling a little bit. No, no I, I think we, they get here with the rum on My legs? This is not made for bitches with thighs. I'm going to tell you that right now. Europe is not made for bitches with thighs. No. Um, you guys, we have a lot to update you on. We will do that probably in the hotel. Just know, last night was a chill night, actually, for us. Um, been fighting for my life all day long. Um, I don't shut up about this jet lag. I don't. It's crazy. I don't understand it. Um, we'll update you on that later because we were being so dramatic this morning. We were truly acting like we had the flag. Um, like, we are acting like, what was it, Scarlet Fever. Literally. Yeah. Broken nail went and got it fixed. It looks kind of ratchet, but it's better all together. But we are at this place called Boojum. It's like Chipotle on crack. <laughs> the amount of chicken they put in this is like Chipotle's triple chicken. No, it's crazy. Good, like four pounds at least. No, guys, it's like, it's like exactly. Like, you're not getting money cut out of your paycheck because you gave me more chicken. No, there it is. They just get it up, you know? Yeah, it was so good. Yeah. I'm excited. Because you put like a can of pinto beans in this. There's a sour cream that's perfect. But we are sitting that one next day. We're leaving tomorrow. Um, we are going to venture out tonight because we have been kind of lost. Um, it's like breaking and shit. But we'll update you when we get back to the place. But I'll show you guys what this looks like actually first. Yeah. See? But do you see how scrumptious that is? She's so thick. I also would just like to tell you that everything here is fried. So this everything. is just like... We were going to go to the grocery store and get stuff to make sandwiches because we were so down bad. 
but it's delicious. That's why I don't really understand the whole like, how are you guys on fat? I don't get it. Everything is fried. Everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like their salads are salads. Mm -hmm. It's like, yeah, no. These forks are a little fucked, I will say that. Mm -hmm. Okay, everyone. <laughs> I need you to imagine we book an extra stay in Ireland. To for like, let's stay another day. To do nothing. Because we're like, what are we going to do in Birmingham for a day? We just rotted. it. <laughs> so let's start off with this morning. I have this jet lag thing. I know I don't shut up about it, but it's like nobody talks about it because I thought that I had the flu. But this morning we were reading, like we slept until like 11. Like I'm not even kidding. Like checkout was at 11. We hadn't even like booked the room again. Like we didn't have a room to stay in. Like, the we worst just... part is we were up at 7.30 chatting. Like we could have gotten up. I, I was dying then. It was not happening. <laughs> and we we're acting like we had, what do you say, scarlet fever? Like, we're so scarlet dramatic. Fever. And I remember. The you, black plague. There were lots of illnesses being thrown around. Well, like, my body is just so confused. It doesn't know what's going on. Like, I remember when you opened that, that blind this morning. I was well, like, ah! Like, <laughs> Kenzie, I was like, what if we just start microdosing, getting up? So, like, every five to ten minutes, I would like open up the window or like turn on the lights and get these like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, ah, I'm <laughs> like my head hurt like I and then okay because we're like we're gonna go to the gym today okay because my body was also I have like you know when you're on your period your lower back aches my knees hurt like I can barely sit in crisscross applesauce I'm in so much fucking pain <laughs> I think it was so bad. We go to the gym. They're giving us a tour. I literally have shit. I'm shivering. Like, I have body aches like I have the flu. Like, I can barely keep my eyes open. I think I'm going to fall over. No, you forget that the gym was, like, three stories for no reason. No. So, the no. guy's, like, taking us up and down It was a very stairs. vertical gym. <laughs> we went to Fly Fit in Dublin. I yeah. it was called. Yeah. Anyways, I was one of those bitches that sat on a fucking yoga mat and just went on the phone the whole time. <laughs> I did stretch a little bit. And then what happened is I go to do some cardio. I'm like, let me go and walk on the treadmill. I think I can do that, right? I then go and take my shoe off, which whenever I take my shoe off, I put my nail in like that so it's not going against the like grain like that, right? My heel steps on it, nail cracks. And I'm like, this is my 13th fucking reason. Like, I'm already pissed because I'm in so much yeah, pain. Yeah, I know. It was bad. I'm hungry. And so she's working out. I'm like, I'm going to find the nearest nail salon, right? <laughs> Given this is awful. Like, it's one of the, like, curved acrylics. Do you see Do you see that? It's, like, lumpy. But I was, like, eh, it's... And she starts with a stark white. The lady was so nice, truly. Um, stark white. I had her do a little shimmer shade over it. So it's, like, from far away, like, could could be worse. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I was so pissed about it that I knew that if I met anyone at the expo and they made, like, a joke about my nail being off, I would have been actually mad. So I had to get them fixed. And so Peyton's, like, what? where are you at? I sent her a photo of me with, like, the tinfoil over my nail. No, I'm fully, like, how did you leave the gym... And find a nail salon within walking distance within, like, five minutes. Oh, I was ready. Like, I was not playing. Like, I was going regardless today. I don't know when it was happening. But I was yeah. like, oh, it's close. I'm going. I'm going to see if they have any walk-ins. They didn't even call. Just showed up. And it worked out. Then from there, we went and got coffee. And then we went to that. We have vlogged at the little burrito bowl place. So good. Then we went to the grocery store, grocery store gas station situation some more waters actually we have been hydrated today this is the most i peed this in like crazy. five days like i mean i've almost finished this i've barely gone through half of mine but i have had other little drinks yeah you have um we got little snacks i randomly got chocolate covered raisins for no reason i don't know why we wanted those um and we've just been rotting in this bed since five i think we got back yes five. We're low-key being delusional. Like, we're sitting here. Um, if you guys listen to the podcast, Girls Got It, yeah, I've talked about that before. They have their own, like, line of vibrators called Vibes Only. So, like, one of their videos pops up on my Instagram. And I was like, Peyton, if you could name a vibrator, what would you name it? She's, like, thinking for a while. And then she goes, you know, like, like bomb-ass pussy? Like, what if you made a, um, a vibrator that was, like, a bomb? And I was like, that's crazy to say. Like, that's insane. <laughs> like, absolutely deranged. And then you're like, that's a million-dollar idea. No, it's so good. Cause and then she goes, well, what if, like, it got taken away in TSA and it looked like a bomb, and you're like, well, that's my, like, bomb-ass pussy. That's what you say, you know? It's hilarious. It's like a play on words. It's the way it's that like you... It's controversial. It's the way that you want a vibrator to be shaped like a bomb. It's crazy. It's cutting edge. Cutting edge? Yeah. Like, what? Other vibrators are just boring. 
And it could like go pew. <laughs> you turn it on and it goes pew. That's so, that's awful. You think so? You're like, it's like, what's the word? It's kind of like fake IDs. This video is going to take it down somehow. When <laughs> fake IDs, when it's like in college, like you get them like and it's like this is like a novelty like it's not meant to be an id like it's like meant to be like yeah okay you know what i'm saying like not used yeah like that's what the like bond vibrator the yeah that's what the like a funny bachelorette gift yes like that's like what your bond... white elephant yes okay that's what your that's bond vibrator would be you're like i'm fine she's like don't try to steal it it's mine yep i'm trademarking it heard it here first Anyways, we have a flight tomorrow at 11.45. We did already have a flight that we purchased for $30. And then we proceeded to spend like two fifty dollars each on another. That Not even with all the baggage we have to get there. Also, yeah, we didn't. it didn't matter if we were rotting here or rotting in Birmingham. It didn't matter. No, we did have to get a hotel room regardless. Um, but there was also no way I was going to go to a flight this morning. No. I was in so yeah. much pain. Like <laughs> I'm it, glad we did this. I am glad as well. It's worth it to me. The investment was worth it. Yeah. For our future happiness. I will say, if I don't wake up tomorrow feeling like a normal bitch, I'm going to kill someone. It's not going to be you. It will be somebody else. Yeah. So. You will. How could you not? That's what I'm... Stop getting it. Why are you getting it? <laughs> you guys, one of my lymph nodes might go in. It's like huge. Like massive. It's, it's so big. Like, let me touch it again. <laughs> no, don't touch it again. It's so scary. Yeah, it's bad. And I looked it up, it means either STD or cancer. So either one. Ooh. I know. Because I did accuse Mystery Man. I did. I was like, so did you give me an STD? And he was like, what What the fuck? And then I was like, maybe it's because I sat in the toilet seat. Oh, I feel like that's something they say in middle school. I don't think you can get an STD from that. So either you'll see me tomorrow or you will. Goodbye. Good morning. All right, y'all. We're alive somehow. Um, still giving sick, honestly, but I think we're gonna make it through. Uh, we are like packing up right now. It's I don't even know what time it is right now. Whatever. We're gonna leave soon. I got an Americano and put some almond milk and some stevia in it, and then I got this like Greek yogurt. It's Banafi. Do you say Banafi? Banafi. I don't know what that is. I think it's supposed to be like toffee and banana. Um, the whole thing, reading nutrition labels here has been a struggle just because like this entire thing is 150 grams, but they'll give you the serving size for 100 grams. But for, and it wants to put like, um, what is it, Killa, I don't know whatever the fuck it is. But whole thing is 90 cows, 0.2 fat, 4 carb, and 18 protein. So, we have like an hour and a half flight to Birmingham. We'll see all the dark sport people, and we're gonna pray that we live because it's giving the flu. Um, the lymph node is actually concerning to me because I can like see it. So, slay. We made it to Birmingham. So ungodly tired, but we made it. That was uh, the Dublin airport was so odd. We get to the gate, into the gate. It's like a gate to a bus that you would then bring to the gate. It was actually a maze. Like, it was like they were joking. It was actually very confusing. And getting through security took like an hour. The guy was so rude. No. Uh, he was, <laughs> he was I went like this. He was like kind of like snapping at me and I go, oh my god. Like, yeah. it just came out because I was like, this is crazy. It was crazy. And it was like, it wasn't like we were talking and then he got, he just immediately was snappy. Yeah. He like came over and he's like, oh, do you need help? And then he was snapping. And then he was rude before we and even I was said like, anything. And I was like, I don't even think I said yes to the help. Yeah, no. It was very hot. Um, anyways, we're in Birmingham now. And we're going to the hotel. Um, good news is, at least we were traveling for 10, 12 hours today. Yeah. Could be us. It's us not. on a 30 minute flight. We're like, we're so exhausted. No. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone else has been traveling for 20. Like I said, this jet lag thing, nobody speaks on it. Honestly, bring more awareness to jet lag. Yeah. Jet lag awareness. That's my new passion. <laughs> Remember how you said last night? She's like, I'm going to start 
a jet lag medication and like I'm gonna speak on my story <laughs> like you were well because I thought that like I don't know why I assumed that there was jet lag medication like I thought it existed to fix your jet lag it's like this morning my phone's ringing at like by the time I was at like 645 I roll over it's Kathy hello she's like you open the door I open the door she's like the pharmacy's closed <laughs> <laughs> like you were already out on the streets no, looking for it. It literally feels like a fever. That's why it's like you know, like when you have a fever and you lay down and then you wake up and you not wake up, but you get up and you're dizzy. That's how I can explain it. Mm -hmm. And we also have cramps. Yeah. For no reason. They have a resorts world here. They want to say there's nothing in Birmingham, but they have a resorts world. That's all I'm gonna say. They have TJ Fridays here. So there's Wait, one. What? Yeah, it's in Resorts World. Um. We gotta go there. No, literally. No. Like and there's a Five Guys in that. That's where the Five Guys is at. Cool. Um, they have that in Vegas. It's like one of the places. You know, Vegas has a bunch of those like giant buffets. It's a, a Vegas thing. Like, yeah, that's like Resorts World. So we are gonna be okay. Yeah, we'll be alright. Last night, Peyton like she's like, I'm gonna look for restaurants. <laughs> I and was stressed out. I felt like there was nothing here but like an airport and this expo. <laughs> and she's like, but what if there isn't any food? And I'm like, what do you mean any food? She's like, what if there's no food at all? Okay, y'all, we are in a much better state than the last time you saw us. We're with Queen Kaylin, and we are at this steakhouse. Um, the past 30 minutes has been the most culture shock I've had thus far. Um, we're at, like, it's like a mall, basically, with a bunch of food places. We try to go to Nando's, right? We And then we're like, okay, the wait was too long. We go to TGI Fridays. There's a 50 minute wait. It's fucking popping. Like you would think it's like a fire ass bar. Yeah. Like bitches are dressed like dressed up like we're going to the club. To the nine. Like crazy like. shit. So we're now at this steakhouse, which somehow had a less of a wait. Um, we're gonna get some drinks. I'm gonna get a fucking steak while we're here. Um, it's crazy. That bathroom experience was really humbling. Yeah. I just we, we forgot that Americans like are big on the athleisure. It's like athlete, but it's not even like, oh, like they just like look presentable. It's like, we're going to the club after this. Yeah. Yeah, it's not like they're just like in normal. It's crazy, honestly. Um, the culture shock goes crazy, but we're eating and then we have a meeting later tonight. We got water, our shots of water. Did you see this compared to my hand? We're just gonna but I think the food's gonna be fire. Yeah. For sure, getting like a second drink. Obviously, you need beverages. It's too good. No, their drinks are so good. Yum. Okay, little blue cheese wedge salad situation. Kaylin got one too. We did like a pick your own steak situation. Do not say I got steak. I did. So what was it? Onion? Play. Yeah, it's like a caramelized, like blooming onion situation. Kaylin got a little chicken burger. Chicken butt. Little espresso martinis for the girls. Moving everything to take a photo, because so that's what we do. We're so bad. This musty ass table. It looks like straight cream. Slay. <laughs> okay, y'all. Okay. Hello. You guys are Hi. cameras. <laughs> Mini camera influence. You see it? Yeah, I know. Yeah. Where's my code, DJI? <laughs> I've been a bad little vlogger, so I was down bad, but I, today I'm on the come up. I'm going to say it. I'm here. I'm not dying anymore. We're alive. We're going to the booth. <laughs> wait, it's wait, on wait, point. Wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> Wait. Wait, turn away from the lights. It's like right here. Mini camera slay. <laughs> Period. All black for the dark. Kerrigan's here. Her bags aren't, but we got her. Yep. She's prepared. I went to Zara. But I will vlog when I'm there, but I will be a better vlogger in the second half of this trip. Oh, but no. I did think that I had scarlet fever, so that's my <laughs> excuse. Expo, day one with Dark Sport. Baby Cam. Baby Cam. <laughs> All right, y'all, we made it. We're at the Arnold. Whole squad. Thank you.
Oh, it's like a bunch of heads. Can we do it again? <laughs> no, I think we need to take a breather. Yeah, let's so take where a are these? I'm like doing the vlog. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Y'all, long time no see. I will give you an update later. Um, I did not film a lot at the expo because I was down bad. Feeling better now. I just need to be on medication. Whatever the fuck. We're at the gym shoot now. We're at this gym called Kingdom. It's actually dope as fuck. Like, probably one of my favorite gyms we've been to. But yeah, I'm just gonna show you what's happening. The music is loud as fuck, but it's so cool. It's all Panada equipment, if you know what that is. Queen Kaylin. Slay. Say hi to the vlog. Hi. Slay. You said you should be scared. I'm gonna take your job. He's quaking right now. He's scared. Won't admit it, but he's terrified. He's quaking. Exactly. Quaking in his boots. He doesn't know what to do. You'll be fired soon. Once they see this vlog, you're done with. <laughs> Once they see this cinematic masterpiece. Hey, what's up? You know time it is? Day two. You can shut this bitch down. Let's go. Period. <laughs> Here, what's up? How are you? What up, what up, what up? Cool. Oh man, so tired. So, um, all right, you guys. I'll see ya. All right, you guys. Update, because I have not been fucking vlogging. I've been so down bad. And I don't want to, like, complain to y'all. But, like, I... I don't know. Today, I did sleep until 7 a.m., which is the longest I've slept this entire time I'm here. Um, I've been taking, like, DayQuil and NyQuil. I literally have flu symptoms. Like, I have been so down bad, and I've been just, like, so irritated because, like, I'm here with Dark Sport, and I don't want to complain because I know that I'm literally living people's dream. But, like, I have been so down bad to the point where I'm like, if I don't feel, like, better by Monday, I'm canceling the rest of my trip, and I'm not going to go to Amsterdam and Portugal. Like, it's been that fucking bad. I have not felt this ill in years. But I did, like, basically this entire time I've been here, I would wake up at, like, the latest I've been able to sleep would be, like, 4.45. And today, I slept until 7, which was a win. Today is a marathon of a day. We have the expo, and then we are driving to London, checking into our hotel, going to dinner, and then we're going to a club. The after party starts at midnight, in case you're wondering. But I do think I am starting to feel better. I just need to like be on my drugs basically like I can because I fully have like a come down like I'll, I will take Dayquil or like Advil and then I like it's the like flu where it's like you're sweating or you have like the chills and I have like body aches like I didn't even film a lot at the shoot last night I did get a little bit of a workout in like I basically did a set on like a bunch of machines but yeah that's why this has been a shitty fucking vlog to be honest is because I've been so incredibly down bad no one tells you no one prepares you when you're like oh I'm gonna go blah blah that jet like means you can get like sick so I don't know I am feeling better today my head is still a little like uh, but at least I'm not dizzy like I've been dizzy I like at the booth yesterday it's hot as fuck there I'm like shivering like so cold in my fucking bomber jacket but I do think I'm gonna come up we'll see I don't know but I don't know it's just, if I don't feel, like, actually good by Monday, I'm, like, low-key afraid to travel by myself in, like, a place that I don't have health care. Um, so, yeah, TBD on that, but we're going to the expo today. I just, like, can't let myself not, like, I just need to be on my Advil and on my DayQuil. And I need to find more of that. I don't know, so I need to find more of that today. But that's the update, basically. Sorry, my camera was all kind of fucked, but... Day two of the expo, we go to London tonight, and then it's basically just like fun from there. Not that this isn't fun, but like, you have to say the vibe. Um, so yeah, that's the update. Mm, I've just been really fucking annoyed, to be honest. But, we're alive. All of the people in line for free alcohol.
everyone. I am proud to announce that I think I'm going to survive. Feeling much better. Updating the blog, letting them know that I'm going to survive, everyone. We're going to no, make it through. Day six? Day six is on, yeah. Yeah. Yesterday was the come up, but day six is like. Yeah, there. we're up. Hey, Julie, you're up? This is the first time I've ever drank. <laughs> no, Julius, he's like, are you drinking? I was like, oh no. He's like, what? I said, yo, I've been sick. He's like, what? I was like, do you not? I'm like, do you not hear every other word that comes out of your mouth? No, literally. And he's like, tonight though, I'm like, yeah. Okay, why is everybody concerned that we're not going to be in fun tonight? That I'm part. Like, they're what? like, you better bring this tonight. When do we not bring it? <laughs> is my question. That part. Also, side note, this strawberry kiwi water is so good. No, sorry, it's kiwi lime. It's very, very good. It tastes like actual fucking kiwis. Not that fake kiwi shit. <laughs> All right, y'all, we are at this burger place, GBK, I don't know, I'm just got a little chicken sandwich. Another day, another chicken sandwich. Period. <laughs> um, truffle fries, I have a burger. Uh, okay, we got some halloumi yeah. cheese, and then a chicken sandwich. We're gonna eat, go to the mall, so I can get underwear, and, um, I'll show you where we go after that. To London, probably. Everyone, we're on the bus going to London. It's gonna take us almost three hours to get there, and we're gonna have to make this dinner reservation if we can because we're not gonna make it. Um, I will not be bringing my camera tonight. I'm gonna film it on my phone, so the next clip you see are probably gonna be shitty. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, one thousand percent, they're gonna be shitty. Um, and I don't big pickpocketing situation, so I'm not gonna bring my baby camera because I don't wanna lose my baby camera. Obviously. Vlog lighting is horrendous. We just got ready in like 30 minutes. We're gonna show you the fits. Um, I don't know, lighting's so bad. I just have a black bodysuit on. This jacket is from Akira. Akira, y'all know it's new. And then these are from like fucking TJ Maxx. Okay, Peyton. Okay, I'm giving Sandy, but this is this bodysuit's from White Fox. It's like a see-through moment. Shoes I got from like a cheap shoe store. Yeah, jacket is Miss Kenzie's. Earrings are Kenzie's. Mwah. All right, we'll see you. Um, I'll take some videos on my phone because I'm not bringing this out because it's not going to get stolen. I feel blessed. Extremely, extremely blessed to be here with all of you guys. Cool? <laughs> extremely blessed to be here with all of you guys. And uh, I, I'm very humbled that I, I could stand here and talk to you guys and you guys would you know, give me attention and listen to you. you know? Um, you know, you walk in that booth, man, tonight, or these last couple of days, you look at the, the wall, man. When I look at that wall, it transports me back to that time. You know, that part of the journey with you guys that I got to share, that we all got to share together. And, you know, there's a point at every single shoot, and I was telling this to my wife as I sat back on the couch and I just watched you guys move. Like, I just sat there with mama and baby and I watched you guys move. And there's a time where I, I, I said to her, you know, there's a time during every shoot where I just stop and watch everything and I take it all in. And then I let it wash through me. And as I sat there, I cried looking at you guys. And it's the energy, you know, I talked to Luck about it after. It's the energy that we have in that booth. It, it's the people, it's, it's the way that people feel to be around us and just to be chilling with us. You know, um, and I mean, we're out here in we're, we're out here in London right now. Man. We out here. Yeah. I want to let you guys all know that I'm so proud to share this journey with such amazing individuals. It's not just about what we do on stage, what we do on social media. It's the kind of people you are, and it wouldn't have that energy if it wasn't for each and every single one of us. And there's. You know, I don't even know we don't often talk about it, but I just wanted to say thank you to Michael and to his family yeah. for creating this thing. <laughs> for this journey together, for being able to share these amazing, like, it's like we live in a dream experience, man. Like I, I walked in there and I said, man, this is real life. This is real life. And I'm so very thankful that I get to share it all with you. 
And, you know, let's just keep bringing that energy and keep doing it and keep pushing it as far as we can fucking push it, man. All right, everyone, I got lamb. What's most important is Peyton's never had a steak before and she's gonna eat it and I will film it. Just kidding, she's taking a tequila shot first. Yeah. Okay, cut it. Uh -huh. It's gonna take a lot. It's chewy, so it's gonna chew for a bit, probably. It's good. She likes it. Okay, we could not film at the club because they put stickers over our cameras. So please enjoy this little post club drunk recap with the girlies. Yeah, not yet. Stay there. Stay there one second. Should I shake like this? Yeah, yeah, you should shake like that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Any, oh, any yeah. other words, Peyton? Good, good night. And here we are. We went out. It was interesting, to be honest. <laughs> it was like a haunted house in that bitch. We literally couldn't see. I need you to imagine you walk in. Okay. If instantly, <laughs> if it's long. No, wait, before we even get Wait, in, one second, okay, sorry. High security. <laughs> it was easier to get in this country than that club, straight up. <laughs> like, Seriously. Imagine your ID, ID check. ID check. They take a photo of you. you photo? Fingerprint, like <laughs> you're like this. They put the camera oh, cover on your phone. My assholes being spread, like it was insane. What? <laughs> no, they were like no, feeling us up. It was crazy. Um, but after that, we got into the club. It we're... was lame, okay. But then we were drinking a lot. A lot. We were there for like four hours. Okay, it was like very much like house tech now, very European as fuck. Like yes. And it would have been fun if everyone would have stayed in the same area, but it was hard to keep everyone contained. This is true. This is true. That's that's. It just was fun. Um, it was just it was a lot. It was giving. If you've been to Space Miami, top floor is giving that. Honestly, like that second to top floor. Yep. Um, and now we have McDonald's. Would you like to explain what you're consuming? <laughs> Caitlin on her way to a business meeting. I don't even remember what this is. Is it some crazy McFlurry from the UK? Oh no, you like named something insane that was and like I had to get it. I didn't even know what it was. What is that? <laughs> you and your blazer. You said my favorite thing about Peyton when she's drunk is she sounds like a little kid. It's so cute. <laughs> what? You and your blazer. Literally, <laughs> literally. We have Diet Cokes. I'm like spicy. Guys, do we want this on the bed? Is this okay? Yes. Yeah. You think so we care about that? You can make, honestly make, make chicken sandwich. Period. Like, that one's mine. I don't. I don't want you guys to be no. grossed out. No. Fries. Missy and I grossed out is it crazy. I know. I'm like, if anything, I'm. Good. Yeah, exactly. So, more fries. I'm in a blazer. This is insane. <laughs> I don't sleep in Kenzie Payne's room. Let's get one thing straight. I don't just be chilling in this. We got this chicken selects. This is their chicken tenders. <laughs> they used to have these in the states. I used to get them as a child. This is the best part of my fucking got cream and chive. It's 5 a.m. What? Let's, let's talk about how it's 5 a.m. <laughs> cream and chive dip because they don't have uh, ranch here. UK, get your money up. Period. Barbecue and ketchup. And that's all. Oh, also, can we talk about the fact that we were harassed? Wait, that's where's me? All, babes. We were harassed outside, outside of the club. Down. Are we not going to talk about that? I don't know. What does it taste like? They Ladies. Straws. Ladies. Are we not going to talk about the fact that we were okay. harassed outside of the club? Were you we silenced were, or, or silenced? Silence. Silence. <laughs> so real. Wait, why is it warm, like cold? Everything's cold. The fries are cold. Oh. I don't think they were cold. <gasps> oh, oh my god, and we got a donut! Yeah, that's what I thought. I was waiting for the fucking sweets, bitch. We got an apple toffee donut. <gasps> that looks so good. That's uh, Alright, Kenzie, do a taste test. Yeah. Okay. I'll record you. Everyone. Or you just do it. Yeah. It's so crazy. It's also good. They walked all the way down to the lobby. They just didn't even ignore it. <laughs> you know the, the... Oh my god, it filled, it filled. <gasps> Try it. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. 
Pam. Try it. Wait, that's so good. Mm-hmm. That's delicious. It's like an apple pie. Yeah, that's delectable. <gasps> that's insane. What? Delectable. <gasps> Yum. Let me get another one. How we feeling this morning, ladies? Slaying. You guys look so great. This lighting is incredible. Really? Oh my god, it's like stunning. We awoke. It is what time? 3:20. 3:22. Sorry, I just threw your phone. Um, we're gonna go. Well, we got we're at this bagel place, and we're gonna eat these bagels, and then maybe go to some pubs. But I'll show you where we go. All right, y'all know how I feel about a salmon situation. It's cucumber, dill, fruit, salad. Slay. Uh, up there we have Andre stealing my whole brand. Look at that. If you can't tell, you see him with the copycat baby <laughs> camera? Yeah, you see it. I know you fucking see it. No, it's really giving full chav. Full chav. Okay, so we're gonna wait for Brandon and Cameron, right? And then dip out. Yeah, all of a sudden you want my help, Andre? How do I get it to recenter itself? Like, I'm like, how does it. Oh, you want to go back to you? No, but I want it to recenter itself. Okay, so where do you want to film right now? I want to film me, but I want it to still follow me. Oh, you want the follow thing? You have to go click on that, auto detect, start. No, 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 but not. You don't want that one? Oh, that works. Oh, no, that works. You want that one? Okay. Kyra wants to be in this vlog so bad. I do. I do. I feel like I deserve some recognition Introduce for yourself. being yeah. Kenzie's first dark sport photographer. Okay. All right. Um, I, mean, I don't know what else to fucking say. This is King Kyle. He sometimes, sometimes we have to revoke that title from him, but right now he'll have, he can have it right now. Sometimes I have it uh, for the time being. For the time being. We'll it's, like see. Little, it's like a little pass that like you can take away and give. Yeah, exactly. It's not like a held title. Yeah. But mm -hmm. it's just like a little card. I agree. I'll accept that. Well, we're here in London. We're here in we're London. Here in we end this bitch. It's an interesting day. So far. Sorry, y'all. It is. It's St. Patrick's Day. Kyle just got here, kind of. I did. I did. I was late to the party, but he we was. were trying to get it going. Period. Now we are somewhere. I don't know. Okay, y'all. Next stop is the Greek, is what it's called. What is this place even called? The Greek, the Great Greek, the some, I don't know, something like that. But we got spicy feta, the real Greek, in like kind of Soho ish area in London with Cameron. He works for Dark Sport. Kaylin, period. Car uh, that's not Kerrigan. Kaylin is in the bathroom. Peyton is here. We all got Diet Cokes and water, and we have more food coming, but I'll show you what we got. We had to, we needed to get away from the crowd for a moment. <laughs> we just needed to yeah. eat, chill, and then we'll see what the girlies, sorry, Cameron and the Wolfies are up there to. You go. Period. There you Period. go. <laughs> Come on. Get like more chicken for sure. Get into it, get into the fort. Come on. Good morning, y'all. It's 1 p.m. Um, we are still in London, in case you're wondering. Uh, honestly, I had a very difficult morning. I just have, I think the past four morning, mornings have been very difficult for me. But we are doing wholesome activities today. We just saw, the, what is it, the eye thing we just saw? The London eye. The London eye. We're gonna go and see. It's the biggest Ferris wheel in the world. Okay, uh, what are we gonna go see now? Buckingham Palace. I was gonna say Birmingham Palace, so. <laughs> Oh, well, we're gonna eat first. We're, we're gonna hungry. eat first. Um, yeah, we need to eat food. We just got coffee. Uh, met Peyton's family. Peyton looks just like her mother. It's like, <laughs> I, it was obviously shocking. Um, you guys have seen pictures of her though, right? Yeah, but like, it was just her, like, her hearing her speak. She's like, her, no, like, no, hearing her speak to you, like, her words, like, her voice. I was like, okay, this makes sense. Um, but yeah, I will bring you along. I will try to not be the worst vlogger on the planet yet again today. That will probably happen still. Um, yeah, so. Okay, we all got like the same thing: sourdough, eggs, mushroom sausages. She got her scrambled. Your scrambled eggs look really good. Honestly. Yeah, they do look good. Slay. We're walking. In case you wanted to know. Influences in the wilds.
we outside. Look how cool everyone. Okay, y'all, I've been an awful vlogger, but we are at Piccadilly, whatever the fuck. <laughs> we are at you Piccadilly, whatever the fuck. <laughs> um, we just went to the M&M like store, the and we had it's dinner. Like, <laughs> apparently, they do like a circus here. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, but yeah, we went to dinner. Now we're going to find a sweet treat. Yeah. Sweet treat, the girl eats, oh, the girl eats want some ice cream. <laughs> we need ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is why I've we been vlogging. We need a vlogging. nightcap. We need a nightcap. This is why I've been vlogging y'all because I've just, just been kind of uneventful. Yeah, so. uneventful, it, honestly, unwell. Like, like my mom's like, what have you guys done? And I'm like, a lot, but like I don't have anything to report. Yeah, you know? I mean, especially since they've been here so much, like they know the vibes, right? Okay, people, I'm in Amsterdam. You guys have not heard from me from a long time. Honestly, I've said this, I think, before in a different clip. This trip has not been fun for me at all. Honestly, like I've been ill. Nobody come for me. I don't have COVID, but I've just been like having every symptom under the fuck. At this point, like, I've had every symptom. I feel like next one's gonna be like <laughs> her vision. Like Peyton and Caitlin were joking last night. Like, you're gonna tell us that you lost sight like next time. Um, I'm not going to Portugal. I'm in Amsterdam. I slept most of the day. Ordered Subway here. Uh, like my appetite is wrong. Like I've been eating like nothing, but my stomach is so inflamed. Like you know when you breathe and it like hurts. Like it feels like your stomach's gonna crack. Um, that's how you know I'm not well. If I'm not hungry, like, even Peyton said that the other day. We were at, like, lunch or something. I was like, I'm full. She's like, you're what? Yeah, I don't get full, okay? I don't get not hungry. These things don't happen to me. But I slept. I'm feeling rested. I had some more Sudafed in me. I got heartburn and acid reflux stuff. I got fucking, like, hay fever medication. Don't even ask. I'm, like, all over the place. Um, but I do want to, like, walk around. I do think I am going to, like, Amsterdam. Like, I'm kind of sad because I'm, like, I don't know. London was not for me, Okay. Mm, UK, not for me. Um, I said, I think I put on baggy enough pants so maybe people won't make fun of me when I leave my house. Um, JK. But I do, the hotel I booked is really nice. It's called NH Collections, in case you're wondering. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go and walk around because it's really pretty here. I'm in like city center. I'm going to make the most out of my next two days. I have a massage booked at 1030 tomorrow and then I'm going on a canal cruise. I have that booked. I do want to go to the Anne Frank Museum at some point because I'm like, I'm here. I probably should um, but yeah, I don't know. This trip is not what I thought it was going to be at all. If I'm going to be honest with you, like, it's just annoying because I'm pissed because I'm sick. Like, it started with jet lag, and then I was like, no, I'm literally just fucking sick. Like, I don't know. The Sudafed, like, eventually makes my dizziness go away. But it's like my stomach. It feels like all my food is still here, even though I haven't really been fucking eating. I just want to go home. I miss my man. Like, I want to go home. Like, I'm just like, mm. Um, but yeah, so that's what I'm doing. But I'm going to venture out of the place today. Because I just sat in a robe for the past, like, five hours. But yeah. Even, like, I was, like, falling asleep on the plane. The stewardess lady, like, she, like, reclined my chair for me. I was like, what's happening? She's like, oh. Um, but yeah. And I don't want to, like, come off as, like, complaining. Because literally it was a free trip in Dark Sport. It was so nice. And I told them I don't want to go to Portugal anymore. So they bought me a new flight home. Which is a slag because it's a better fight than I had before. But it's just like, it's been really irritating because I was really excited for this trip. And I've been talking about it for months. And you guys keep on asking me, like, if you follow me on social media, you'll notice I have not been posting on Instagram. Like, I repost things. So I haven't really been posting like I normally do. Um, but I am going to bring out this mini camera with me tonight. I'm going to charge it tonight. And I just really want to feel better because it's just actually annoying to be in these cool fucking places and feel like shit. And I don't know, and I feel like people are like, oh, it's drinking. I drank one night. And honestly, the best I felt was when I was hungover. So, yeah. But we're going to go and venture outside. I'll you guys see the next clips, but that's the update. Update has been, this has kind of been on sleigh. And I've come to the conclusion that I am not Miss Worldwide. I miss U.S. and sometimes Mexico. Look at these cheesecakes. Come on. Literally makes no sense. Like little cakes and shit. Uh,
Good morning, people. You guys just saw me go downstairs to get breakfast this morning. Basically, this is how my day is going. I wake up, I like, can't even like keep my head up, but I slept for so long. Like yesterday, I slept for like four hours and I got to the hotel. And then you guys saw me like, I don't know. Did I even tell you guys what the fuck I did? Probably not. I went to a coffee shop, smoked a joint, had a Diet Coke. It was crazy. I'm like smoking and I'm just like in a place. It's so weird. And then I went and got like pepper, beef, like lo mein, and a slice of cheesecake. Came back here and ate it, which was honestly a sleigh because I have not had an appetite in so fucking long. Um, which is insane for me to say. I love to eat. Um, but anyways, uh, we're going to make the most out of our time here, okay? Um, but I'm also not going to do shit that I don't want to do. My main point here is I have a massage that I booked for 10.30 today. I'm very excited for it. It's an hour and a half massage. I cannot wait for it. And then I have a canal cruise at three, but then anything else I do today? I don't know, it's gonna be whatever the fuck Kenzie wants to do. But I just put on jeans, fit, dark sports sweatshirt, literally no bra on underneath it, nothing, so I hope I don't sweat. Um, these cargo jeans are from H&M, I think. They're just my little mini Uggs. And yeah. The breakfast here was such a sleigh though. I never thought I was gonna be someone that was like, I miss American breakfast. But I do, I do, I really do. It was so good, it was such a sleigh. I found this hotel on TikTok, actually. So, I don't know, I like her. She's very centrally located, very easy to find. Um, but yeah, so, I'm gonna go into the wilderness again today. I do need to charge this camera, so I'm thinking about charging it. Mm, like, I think I wanna charge it while I'm gone at this massage, and then I'll come and get it. Smart! Broken okay, people, that massage was life changing. Honestly, I took some more Sudafed. I felt like shit when I was like on my stomach because I was like, I felt like all my sinuses were like, <gasps> but then once I was up, I was gonna have some tea. Honestly, that one was fire. I've been to the the Waldorf Astoria spa in Chicago, but that one was better. Um, here's my fit. This is a, uh, I think it's from Forever Turn, it's like a cropped turtleneck sweater. I tucked it in my bra because when I like put my hands up, it goes up, so I just tucked it in. These are some like baggy, like trousers from Zara, my little mini gray Uggs, my little YSL, and then the same trench I've been wearing. This Yankees hat is from, I think Urban, and then these are from Kittenish, but they don't sell them anymore, sorry. I am gonna see if I can find a little food. Do a little smoky smoky, a little food, and then I'm going on this canal cruise, which I'm very excited for. Oh, and I got these fake, um, I got these in, no, where the fuck, where was I? In London, these, um, it's fake, so don't even try, but I feel like they're so cute. I don't know, I love them, very cute. So, I have my camera fully charged, so you guys are coming with me. Okay, so I got the apple Dutch pancake with blueberries, and this is like a cream sauce, I believe, so we'll see. Thank <laughs> you. 
the other side. Wet. century canal and this is the longest, we call it the outside. Back here in the second half of this year there must be a big party going on here in Amsterdam and we call this the shoebox outer. And maybe you know Okay, y'all, we're at Joe and the Juice. I just walked around, did some shopping, went to the way there. That's how you say it. Got some sunglasses I'll show you later. This is 20% off here from your taxi the way. I got different oat milk matcha. Honestly, it's a good use there. I might add something to it. And then I got the tuna powder. Everybody does each other's love this, so we're, I love tuna. So. We'll try it. Oh. Mm. I'm not mad at her. I will say it's seasoned very well. But also, it is just something that it hypes up. I just like to say I want to, let's be real. We're back at the hotel. I just wanted to come back. I'm probably going to take a nap, but I'm going to show you guys what I got from the way they... One second. Some of you are going to get it, some of you aren't, okay? If you don't get it, don't worry about it, all right? She came in this, like, olive green, gray, like, little puffer material almost. And like I said, some of you will understand. Some of you won't. I saw these in what I would assume, like, their, like, Sex Fifth Avenue basically is. And when I saw the way so I needed them. Look how fire they are. They are kind of known for having like just weird fucking sunglasses. But the black with the mirror come on. Now let me try them on with this. Even with this outfit, they look so slay. I know some of you are going to be like literally what the fuck. Uh, you look like a bug. Yeah, I might look like a bug. Okay. I might. But I'm also slaying. Like come on. I don't know. Let me go in the bathroom so you can see better. But I just feel like they're such a slay. I know they are giving bugs life, and like I said, you don't have to understand the vision, but if you get it, you fucking get it. Come on, get into it. I love them. I think they're such a sleigh, and they're 20% off, so they're under for, yes, they're a luxury brand, okay, so they're going to be expensive, but um, they're like 360 like with the 20% off like tax refund I get. And I love them, so I got them, and I've been sick and sad, so gift for me. Alright, y'all, it is my last day here. Yes, I wear the same fucking outfit I wore yesterday, basically. Um, to be honest, I felt awful this morning. It just gets worse. I was literally, to TMI, head hurt, period fucking cramps, shitting my brains out, like, just pain. Pain all around. I'm sorry, I smoked a little bit, and we're gonna go to this, like, market situation. Um, cause I had grapes and yogurt for breakfast this morning, um, and that's literally all I've consumed, so, full day of eating, I guess. I don't know, I want to get these little mini pancakes I saw on TikTok. It's called the, like, I'm going to say it wrong, Albert Cayu fucking something market, I don't know. I know so there's food here, and I have euros I need to spend, so, that's what we're going to do. Yeah, we're at the right place, let's fucking go. It's like a food truck situation. Oh, cute. There's like flowers over here. Me, like, which direction do I even go in? I want to get the little pancakes. Ooh, and they're like these like fried meatball situations. Those flowers are so pretty, though. I've heard these spring rolls are supposed to be good, too. Should I start with something like savory, maybe? Ooh, what's over here? 
Oh, they're like coconut. Yum. Okay, let's see what I get into. I'm being such an annoying American filming everything. I need to film it, okay? Because I want to do like a TikTok like everything I ate here. So, and y'all know I broke my fucking back camera with the demo. I'm going to put my sunglasses on because it makes me look good. I'm hoping nobody sees either of my things. Taste test. Taste test. Mmm. Yum. That's good. It was one, one ninety euros. This is good. This chicken is really good. Honestly, I'm hyped about this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Even sell like household items, I hope to. Oh wait, I think they probably have some super cool pants in here, low key. Low key. I'm not even like a windbreaker person though, to be honest. But they have all these jackets. There's all these stores. They even have like shampoo and conditioner and shit. I wish they had medicine. Okay, me like are those regular bunnies or oh yeah, those are regular bunnies. You never know here. We got wigs and shit. So it's not just a food festival in case anyone's wondering. Because that's literally what I'm acting like it is. Hello, there's these little pigeons fucking everywhere. I mean, I tell you I've never seen that pigeon. Okay, y'all, I got the little pancake things, little puffer teas. I just got the regular, like, powdered sugar one. Um, so we'll try them now. Me just, like, on the floor. Okay. This literally doesn't know where to go. Oh, they had like a bunch of different like flavors, but mm -hmm. they're basic, but how about they taste? Pancakes with butter and hard sugar. What could be better? Mm -hmm. Okay, next I got these things. I saw everyone on TikTok getting them. Um, I was not prepared for when he asked if I wanted cheese on it. I said, yeah, because I'm going to had it on there. He melted a piece of like crab cheese. I was very shocked, but we'll see, I guess. Oh, this one, like, and it's like hella raining out still. One second. Okay. Me moving the condiment thing for my TikTok is so random. Yeah, this is what they look like. They're hot as fuck. Hot as fuck. Okay. I could probably do without the cheese. Okay, next and definitely last now. I did find the bitter bun. And then I got a chicken bao bun, which is very really Oh, and he put the spicy sauce on it. Whatever the fuck the spicy sauce is. And I got diet coke, so it all came in this bag as well. How spicy is this gonna be? I just panicked when he asked me if I wanted spicy. I was like, yeah. That's what she looks like. Yeah, yum. It's the best thing I've had out of bed. The spicy sauce has gotta just be like spraying, I swear. I could do without it, to be honest. This is what they look like. They come with mustard. I don't know how I feel about these, but I'm not mad at it. Oh. I do think they're good though. But I'm not. I'm really not mad at them. I'm trying to hold like, a lot of mustard on it. Yeah, I'm really not mad at this. Yeah. 
But the feeling is a little unsettling looking for sure. I feel like it's better without as much mustard though. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. This would be fire with like, you know, horseradish sauce. If someone like horseradish chip would be better with this. Yeah, I'm gonna go back soon. I'm kind of done with this. I think it's at end of like five anyway. Yeah, I'm not. They're fried. Obviously. Once again, my protein intake for the day be like 30. Yeah. <laughs> Not mad at it, but I don't feel like I'm going to be eating all that. That was the haul. Okay, y'all. Long time no talk. It is now Thursday. I come back on Saturday. So remember when I was like, oh, I just felt so shitty the whole time I was there. Like, I, I didn't know what was wrong with me. I thought I had like the flu, maybe, jet lag, blah, blah. No, I have fucking mono. <laughs> Not yay. Tomato, tomato. I came back on Saturday, right? And Mr. Ryan is like, you need to go to urgent care. And I'm like, mm, no, thanks. I'll come fine. Like, I'll just like, it's a flu. Like, I'll be fine. So no, you need to go to urgent care. Because remember, I also have a massive lump on my groin. It's getting smaller, which is good news. But um, I go to urgent care on Sunday. They're like, you have mono. I'm like, oh my God, everything makes sense. That makes sense why I was so fucking tired all the time. Um, just like the general fatigue, like everything just made sense. I also tested positive for two different strains of COVID. Um, yeah, I'm missing nails. It's whatever. Um, and then I get my blood work back and they're like, you need to go for more testing. You need to go to the emergency room. I'm like, the emergency room? What do you mean I need to go to the emergency room? So there's the emergency room. Um, and they were really just some... Uh, I don't even want to say whatever my liver enzymes were elevated, and then I go there and they're like, yeah, it's because of the mono, like it's it's the mono, and then I tested negative for COVID. I don't really know, unclear on the COVID thing. All I know is I've been in the fucking house. Um, but yeah, so I've been bedridden. I have not trained for like almost three weeks. It's I'm really trying not to think about it too much. Obviously, you, you like don't lose muscle like that quickly, but like you just, I'm just like, oh, I can't like. I'm supposed to be in a growth phase right now. I'm supposed to be training. But I do feel better about not wanting to train at all when I was in Europe because I thought I was dying. And it turns out I was. I did have mono, so it makes sense. Um, do have mono presently. I do feel a lot better. But I'm stuck in the house board. Stuck in the house board. Um, I'm going to edit this video. But I did end it, so I thought this would be the ending. So, um, update. I'm going to redo Europe another time. Um, I am very, very blessed that Dark Sports sent me up there. It's not that I didn't have fun at all. I did have fun. Okay, there were many times where I did have fun. Um, I was just dragging ass the whole time. Um, yeah, but we're gonna do it again. And we're gonna end the vlog here. So, thank you for watching the shit show that was this vlog. Um, I will be back to life soon. Alright, bye! Who you a fool for this? Who you a fool for this? I walk like I talk like I act like I look like I think like my shit don't stink. I fuck like I suck like I ride like I taste like I look like my shit don't stink.